Welcome back, Raxby. Yes, good to be back. Well, that's cool. That's, that's cool. That's cool, I guess. This is uh, Tulip Section 9. And uh, Charchim is still level 8. I think we saw that together. Yeah, level 8. Okay. Um, section 9. Like I said, uh, we got some good stuff in store. The first of which is talking to Mel and giving her a popsicle. Ah, how sweet. Yeah. She says it'll help us sleep well if we eat it. Huh. Which might seem a little... Oh, which It's a clue. It's definitely a clue, but we don't really know exactly what kind of clue it is. Because if we just show her a mochi, mochi kebab, she's like, yeah, whatever, it's a healing item. But she says something different with that. And... She won't, doesn't even want a feather, so Charchim's trying all the stops. Uh, so the letters, uh, this is going really fast, but it says that in the manure container of Scarecrow Field, uh, Miss Clam left a movie. Here's another one. And uh, it's from a guy named Chopper. He was the one at the, the, the playground. The one that spun a, spun a wound. Oh, right, yeah, I remember yeah. So now we're at the point where like some of the kisses that we get from the underground guys... They'll actually send us some letters checking in on us and stuff like that. And it, it'll heal us up a few hearts, which is fairly inconsequential, but it's nice. Do any of the letters contain, like, hints for getting more kisses? I guess, um, we know that there's a movie in the in the poop container now. So okay. it's funny that you say that. They're not really hints for kisses necessarily, but hints for just stuff. Because Miss Clam's letter lets us know that there's an item amongst the shit. Well, that's uh, still good to know. Yeah, so, um, hiding in Funny Bone Factory. I don't know if I really got this across enough, but it's, uh, it's very, very hit or miss. Yeah, it, it definitely did seem hit or miss. Yeah, because a lot of times the security guards will just catch us, and then so we'll have to go through all of this again, and then just kind of, okay, good. He didn't see us that time. Um... I'll get into it a little bit later, but it gets aggravating pretty quickly. But I think it's made so the first time that a person tries to hide, they always they're always successful. Just so nice. they know they can do it. Right. I think that's the way it goes. It'd be really unfortunate if it wasn't. Um, it, it would be a bit better if they just made certain places good hiding spots and others bad ones. Yeah, we'll get into that in a little bit here. Uh, here is a uh, robot king. He likes books. Uh. So he came across Robot King before we looked into his hole, huh? Yep. Um, but he actually made a, made a, he, he writes in graffiti outside. So we kind of heard from him a little bit before. I think he's one of the graffiti guys. But I think at 1 o'clock, he comes out in one of the sections. The sections are basically whatever number, 1, 2, 3, or 4. For instance, like the numbers, like seven, if 793 is this, is this area, then like 797 will be the same one. So when they're trying to traverse the the factory with the subway, oh. yeah, nice. And yeah, I guess we just had to, had to let him hit us a couple times. That might, that might be it. I thought that might have something to do with the giant crayon on his back. Pika, Pika says. And by the way, this is kiss number thirty-four, and it is Robot King. And um, like a lot of Trulip, sometimes I just kind of okay, it worked. I don't know how it did, but it did. <laughs> and. Uh, did he just say Baka? Oh, uh, he said thank you, I think. Uh. Sounded like uh. he called us an idiot. <laughs> Alright, let's get a large chunk of money from them. All the guys from Funny Bone Factory pay really well. That sounds... Right. Uh, it sounds well deserved if you have to go through a lot of aggravating yeah. trouble to yeah. get them. And ooh, is that like the Godzilla's brother? Yep, Mecha Yodzilla. Uh, do you remember how outside somebody said, thank you for taking care of my brother at the park? Uh-huh. If I would have um, pronunciated that better. Or enunciated that better, whatever. Uh, that's him, because we helped his brother Yodzilla. And, uh, Mecha Yodzilla is a lot of the same. Just kind of let him run about. And... If you notice, it's actually still morning now, so we can actually stay in a Funny Bone Factory for a long time. Yeah, it, it does look like it's money. And I think it works on steam power because he's been steaming the entire time. <laughs> yeah, he's the cyberpunk kaiju. Uh, and then just after a while, after 
Yep, he needed to refuel. So he gets a steamy kiss number 35 from Charge Him. It's Mecha Yadzilla. Does he have a four on himself too? That'd be cool. I can't tell what's on his stomach. Didn't it look like a four. Yeah, it just kind of looked like cybertenetic junk. Well, maybe. He roars at us. Actually, maybe. that could be a four. Oh, I guess I didn't take a good look at it. Maybe it is. Get some money from him too. So, uh, yeah, charge him. No shortage of funds for himself. He um, makes a ton and ton of money in Trulip as we go on. And here's another hiding spot underneath the tarp. I think this is, there's like, like I said, I think there's like five or six of them. Because they have the, like a, the barrel, they have like the, the, the cargo container, they have the tarp, they have the, the barrel next to the outhouse. And I think there's one more. Hmm. By but, the way, on the like train, you can like set the three numbers, right? Are there yep. like 999 different locations you can go no, to? No, I was or? trying to touch on that a little bit earlier. What it is is that, let's say if this area right here is number 0004, and then um, number 0005 is like the next factory stop in the tour, 006 the next one, etc., etc., so it's just, it, they just rotate out. The only one that's different is 000, which is the exit, and then 564, which is the safe. Uh, okay. You know, um, and then so we get caught again. I honestly think it's just RNG. I think it's just random whether or not we get caught. I was looking for stuff, like hints, because every so often one of the employees will be like, the security guard's really lazy, tell them, I don't know if that's supposed to mean like, okay, hide on this level, but I don't know which ones say that. I wanna say that I tried that and it didn't work. But anyway, we got caught that time because we stayed in the park until 7 o'clock. And then automatically we get kicked out. And they don't really care that we... I guess they don't have a very good communication system at the Funny Bone Factory. Because, because they just let you back in. <laughs> yeah, we can just go back in again. In fact, they're waiting for us. So, let's uh, give Body on a little snack. And he's one of them! No, yep. doesn't want to talk. No, he can't. He has bought. He was bought into the funny bone mindset. And Jigsaw is staying home all by himself. Jigsaw is the. He's actually the one that tried to get a date with the graffiti outside. If you remember that. Oh yeah. Their time. Yeah, I do. It's a film. He bought the cat. Okay. Oh, so that's Miss Clam's film shop again. And the fortune teller stopped us, but we'll see. Oh, what do you want? Because most of the time he just kind of tells us, he just gives us some hearts. Mm. Oh, very bad. And we can also take them away. So maybe it wasn't a good idea to talk to him. Water hazard. Yep. This is it, Raxby. So, so that's if we it. do this in like the bath, do does something good happen? Well, well, it's it seems like that. It says sit into the tub until our eyes open up and we feel good, and that's what happens at the turtle bath. But it looks like Michelle's coming. Coming in. I don't know if we've seen this yet. I don't know if we've pushed the intercom when Mel was home. And she says, "Yeah, we're from the third district." Oh, you can come in. Okay. Um, I think this has been accessible the entire time. We've just never done it because Mel, M Michelle will get home. If I call her Mel, I'm so sorry. But Michelle will come <laughs> home at like a certain time and if we can actually just buzz her in. Some interesting stories. Yeah. Why are we unhappy? The uh, complay pot coal. The complay pot cult. Uh, complay so she's pot. A cult. Yep. Then I think she's probably the unhappy one. Yep, yeah, she's an expert in all of their uh, all of their doctrines. Complain pot raw. Blah, it's difficult to say. Do not complain to the pot. All right, so it's it's fundamentals are be stoic and have no emotions. So it's like Minnesota. And did they misspell girlfriend there? Probably. I didn't really pay attention. It looks like there's no e. Maybe. So it says clean stuff and don't let anyone complain about our jobs or our house. So. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah, yeah. Friend. Yep, it happens. It happens in Truly. 9.5. Oh, 
Alright, so we can't like the worldly pleasures, I guess. Alright. So yeah, that's, that's uh, Michelle's deal. We're, le we're learning a lot about her. She always seemed a little bit... Distant? Yeah. I was gonna say terrifying. Well, that too. <laughs> yeah. Distant, but terrifying. Yeah. If we... If we just forget about our troubles and pay, and pray to the complay pot cult. And now we feel better. Come visit her again. Hmm. That's important to know right there, that we can visit her again. And she also said it's still early. I want you to keep that in mind, Rax, as we go to the turtle bath, which may or may not be a lot different now that we have been told our fortune to avoid a water hazard. Sure. Trotin's well, got plenty of money. Yeah. Uh, it will be. You can almost buy a fucking other computer. <laughs> which uh which is nice. Well we should definitely take our computer out of our pockets before getting into the bar. Yeah, yeah we don't wanna walk around with wet money. Oh our eyes went wide open there. Yep. That's what always happens when you use the bath. Were you here when you? I don't remember if you were here when we went to the turtle bath for the first no. time. No. Okay. So like basically, it's all these things. Like they have a couple sinks and stuff like that, and they have two sinks, and we don't know how to take a bath. And then if we do that, Leo will be like, "Fuck you, man," and then we'll feel bad. But charge him, even though he did, he's kind of upset that he tried to follow the fortune teller's advice, but it didn't really work. I don't suggest when you go out. Well, sneaking is the number one tactic in Tulip. And if we sneak when we naked, we can go outside. In our underwear? In our underwear. He must be freezing. You know, sometimes we have to bear a little coldness in order to get what we want. <laughs> 